Hey guys, uh, so I'm here just uh, finishing up some cardio and uh, I saw a video that made me wanna do an offshoot video as well. And people have already made some videos about this. I'm kind of coming into it a little bit late, but my viewpoint is gonna be a little bit, or at least that I'm gonna take. Um, so recently there's been a video that surfaced uh, of Orlando Sanchez and Sean Strick uh, grapp and, uh, or like grappling practice. <clears throat> and Orlando, so they start pummeling and you know Strickland, well, before we start, Strickland, if, for those who don't know, Sean Strickland is going to have a main event fight in the U.S. coming up soon. Um, and it's uh, it's a big deal for those who don't understand how um, combat sports work. This is like a big, big deal that really could propel him to the upper echelon of the UFC. And so, so it means a lot of money, a lot of man that has been working for this for quite a long time. Orlando Sanchez is a well-known uh, grappler. He is a uh, heavyweight, a full sized heavyweight like like a le little less than 300 pounds and he is also the abu dhabi world champion grappling so so you know we're talking about a man who uh who is well versed in grappling the best in the world at his weight and his weight you know this possible so um so they start grappling they start pummeling in um brooklyn pummels in goes for an underhook orlando goes through the underhook there goes around the elbow <clears throat> hard to explain but it's basically just a quick submission, but it can be dangerous, especially if someone's not paying attention and you're going full force, you know, in a pre in a in a practice scenario. Um, so, anyways, Orlando does it a couple of times. Uh, Glenn gets upset because he almost gets hurt. Uh, turns around, hits him in the face, kicks him. You know, they go back and forth in words. Um, you know, it kind of ends there. So, so everybody kind of already knows this. I'm not really making a video about that, um, but I will say. I mean, my personal opinion is that is that uh, Orlando shouldn't have. You know, that's that was obviously obviously he was upset about something because he was going for that submission very hard almost like it seemed like he was trying to hurt him and he was going for that same thing every single time at the end of the video they even um orlando even says something to the effect of oh well you you know you were saying i don't belong here da, da, da. so it, it might have been something like that but anyways with regard to that that's kind of already you know been settled people have made some videos already about it um my my video is more about the important having a good part in most of my channel is really about fitness, like weightlifting, training in that way, but there's also some combat sport in it too. I've been uh, grappling for a few years myself. Um, and so I kind of started like thinking in both of those directions, right? So it's pretty obvious that in a scenario where grappling sports or combat sports aren't involved, that having a good partner is extremely important. I remember, you know, wrestling in high school and wrestling in high school was an interesting experience for me because it was just it was a lot going on you're growing up and then also you're involved in this very very difficult sport i'm cutting a ton of weight so there was a lot of issues and i will tell you that the biggest difference in the years like freshman to senior year and my success rate was the level of partner that i had and and i will tell you this that it's not even so much whether your partner was good at grappling that made the difference or good at wrestling in my case he the difference was was that in the beginning in my freshman years i had partners that were really good really good in the state really good compared to me i i, I was not nearly that good so they did very little to help the only thing they used me as was a was a dummy really is what it was it was like picking up a you know a grappling dummy and putting it down you know that that was really what it was for they had no interest in in helping me at least that's the way you know it seemed to me by the time i got to my senior level there i was much better much better going into an undefeated season and the difference was the guy that i had training with me at that point was not nearly as good as those other ones in my freshman year but he was a cooperative and when i say cooperative some people might think oh well he just lets you do it, do whatever you want and that you know that's not good for getting better in fact it is good you need Need a partner that can do three things or three different partners that do each one of them in my case it was a partner that did, did all three there was times where he pushed me where he was better in certain things and so he pushed me to get better there was times where he was worse than me or maybe intentionally was pulling back so I could
could practice the moves that I was learning to get to a proficient state. Because think about it, guys. If you're, sorry for the cars behind me. If you are grappling and you're learning a new move and though your partner doesn't allow you to do it, you'll never get good at that move. You'll never get to the point where, where you can actually proficiently perform that move on a higher level opponent. So you initially need someone that just allows you to do what you wanna do, just go through the motions, right? So, so you need those three things. You need somebody who's equal. I didn't mention that earlier. You need somebody who's equal. You can go back and forth. You need somebody who's better than you so, so you can face the struggle. And then you also need somebody who's worse than you or even someone who's willing to hold back so you keep practicing and getting better and that applies in obviously in combat sports like i just but it also applies in fitness and training weightlifting years ago i had a partner i was working out with and while i enjoyed the conversations that we were having and it was a fun time looking back i realized he was not a very good weightlifter his spotting which then i also started to mimic that same behavior so i'm not trying to put him down at all but his spotting was non-existent like he would just get behind me on the bench and then he would just stand there so if i it was almost like just for a show. So if, if I happened to drop the weight, he wouldn't have been in a position to, to you know, do anything about it. Terrible partner, right? Not, not terrible guy, but terrible partner. And so, and I was doing the same thing because I started to copy that kind of behavior. We were working out for quite a while. So then what happened was later on, when someone would, would work out with me and they would expect me to spot them, I started doing it the way I've been doing, which is no way at all. And they were looking at me like I'm some kind of crazy person, like I've never been to the gym or worked out with any and so you know a good partner is extremely important i didn't really get much better at lifting having a partner like that and i'm sure that guy also didn't because of the way i was you know um, partnering with him so there's there's also a connection that's not like physical it's a mental thing right so when your partner levels up a notch you mentally level up a notch too so you get better and better and better and you guys push each other you keep you keep going back and forth that's the benefit of having a now there's also benefits of working out alone combat sports not so much you kind of need somebody to spar with to grapple with that's not really going to be uh, helpful there are benefits to working out alone when it comes to fitness for training um, weightlifting because one you get through the exercise you don't have to go back and forth switching right you don't have to switch any weights or anything like that you just do your set and and you can you can go through them you can have more volume and you know volume is important as well as some people might not want to tell you but volume is very important and i'm going to make actually make a video about it a little later um so yeah so that there are benefits to working out by yourself but that is the one thing that i really i miss the ability to to have someone push me um except instead of me trying to push myself. And I know what you're thinking. Well, you're just not going hard enough, Armin. You, you know what, like you need to, you know, mentally get strong, stop being weak, you know, push yourself. That's not a real thing. Like pushing yourself to a certain degree, you cannot compare it to another person and seeing another person do better. And then you internally strive to match that individual just the way it is. So, um, you know, that's something that we really should consider. So as far as the, you know, the video of the, uh, of the grappling situation there, Orlando definitely, um, you know, didn't do the right thing. Um, but, you know, things happen. So guys, uh, always be a good partner. Um, always get a good part. And always remember who the real enemy is.